All right, Gina, let's get you outside where we start. Flagstaff, Arizona, <clears throat> 32 degrees. Nice uh, cool cloud cover over the San Francisco peaks. Even a little snow is still up on the mountain. As far as uh, the valley goes, we'll see maybe a cloud or two or a few today, but we're not looking for any rain. This is our Scottsdale Fairmont Princess camera in North Scottsdale. Temperatures in the 60s there around the state. 40s in Sholo, 40s in Winslow, 35 in Window Rock in the Navajo Nation, 30s at the Grand Canyon, 60 in Kingman and 58 in Page, 40s for the central part of the state in Prescott and Payson. Our mornings are still pleasant. We like that. 50s and 60s out there, 57 Avondale, Deer Valley, 63, Mesa, 61, Fountain Hills doing the same. And we're in the uh, mid 50s in Peoria and upper 50s in Surprise. So the morning workout, not too bad. 50s now, we take it to the 70s by 10 a.m. We will get to about 85 at noon, so starting to warm things up, but a nice cool start. As far as highs around the country go, 95 is what we're aiming for. Mid 70s in L.A., Salt Lake City, 57, 82 Albuquerque, 86 in Dallas. And look at the difference in temperature here. We have temperatures in the upper 50s in Kansas City. Then you hop on the other side of the cold front and we're approaching 90 in Louisville. A lot of times when we have uh, that much of a drastic uh, difference in temperatures, we get storms and in this case we're going to see a severe weather potential in southern Illinois in uh, eastern Missouri and western Kentucky so could see some supercell storms and maybe even some tornadoes in that part of the country. Nothing like that here dry conditions for us no issues if you're hopping in the car heading to work maybe we get a nice sunrise out of those high thin clouds moisture streaming in from the south and the west we don't have enough of it and we don't have a lifting mechanism to get that moisture up into the air where it cools, condenses and brings, brings us rain. So we're looking for dry conditions today. This is the bullseye for severe weather. You can see right there. If you have family in this part of the country, uh, maybe give them a text today and make sure that they're watching their favorite meteorologist uh, to stay safe with that severe weather. Here's the clouds. You can see that over the state, these are going to be high, thin clouds. Not really going to be a gloomy day today. We will stay warm as well with those temperatures in the mid 90s clearing the clouds for Friday. Saturday will bring a few more in, but we're still looking at a lot of sunshine and the rain's just going to stay to the north of us. It's going to stay to the east of us. In fact, the seven day rain outlook not showing a whole lot. Uh, maybe Utah and uh, the Midwest and the Plains. That's where you're going to have to get your rain. We're not going to get any really uh, here. Uh, May is one of our driest months. Uh, late April, pretty darn dry too. Not a lot of wind expected for today. That's good news. As far as highs go, we'll be in the upper 80s in places like Safford and Thatcher, Douglas 89, Sierra Vista 86. How about 80 in uh, Concho, Holbrook 83, Cayenta 77, Window Rock 73 up in Flagstaff. We're going to be in the 60s, 72 at the Grand Canyon, Prescott Valley 76 degrees in Cottonwood at 85. 95 today, 96 tomorrow, Saturday 60s when you get up in the morning, 94 for the high, Sunday 68 when you get up, and then a high of 98. That is going to be pretty warm, close to the record, not quite there. I don't think we'll get to 100. Uh, pretty darn close, though. 98 versus 100. We're kind of splitting hairs at this point. Right. Don't go you know, running a marathon at 98 degrees. I wouldn't walk the dog at 98 degrees. Mm. That's going to be too hot. So mm -hmm. even though it's not 100, still just kind of keep those heat precautions yeah. uh, top of mind.